I'm Leah and I'm so excited to have you here today. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because you don't want to miss out on any of the Southern Yankee DIY projects, room renovations, or budget savvy home decor. Today we have something extra special planned for y'all. We are going to take you on a little Santa Craft project tour. I teamed up with some incredibly talented bloggers to bring y'all some amazing Santa projects to get you ready for Christmas. This may be our last project um, until Christmas comes, so I want it to be a good one for sure. I'm going to use all dollar store to put supplies today and of course my Cricut that I love and I'm going to show y'all how to make your very own Christmas plates. Um, I swoon over the Pottery Barn ones. They are just beautiful, but I just can't spend that much money. So I'm going to show you how to make your very own for a super budget savvy price. So let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is to lay out all of my supplies. For this project, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree's white circular plates. These are great for this project. Um, they are glass and they will be perfect. So I'm just going to measure to get the center so I know what size I want my image to be. And I decided on about 2 inches by 3 inches. That's going to put them right in the center. For this project, I'm going to use um, flat black vinyl. It, this is really just a preference. You could use the glossy if you wanted to. Um, I just personally like how the flat looks the best, but it's totally up to you. Use whatever kind of um, finish or color that you want to for your plates. Now it's time to watch my Miracle Machine work. For the image, I just got it off of the Cricut Design Space. I like to get my images from there just because they're so cute and it's so easy to have something that's already pre-made. Now I'm just going to detach my vinyl so that I can um, weed it out. I do like to use my little paper cutter to cut the excess vinyl because I like to save it. You can always use those scrap pieces for smaller projects and I always find something to do with them. So I don't like to waste any of it. Now it's time to weed out my images. Normally I would use my Cricut light pad, but literally right after I was done printing these, our power went out. So I had to do it this way, and let me just tell you, I'm a little bit spoiled now from that light pad because this was so hard because the vinyl um, is so dark that it was a little bit hard to see the images. So if you do not have a Cricut light pad, definitely add it to your last minute Christmas list because I can't even live without mine anymore. This is a little trick that I share every time I do a Cricut project, is that for my transfer paper, I use shelf liner that I get from Target. Um, I only do it this way because it is a little bit cheaper and also I'm at Target all the time, so it's just easier for me to um, go ahead and get the shelf liner and it works just the same, so that's perfect. I did decide to cut out my images separately. Um, that just makes more sense for placing them onto the plates. And this is where really I realized that I needed my light pad because I didn't weed out all of the details on the images. So this is where I did that at. Now that I have my images all weeded and um, cut down to single images, it was time to cut out my shelf liner so that I could transfer them onto the plates. And my plan was to try to use this one piece of shelf liner just to see how far I could go with it because you can reuse them um, for multiple stick images. So I'm going to show you exactly how far just this one piece got me. Now it's time to go ahead and start planning out where my images are going to go on the plates. I really just want them centered up super nice and um, right in the middle of the plate.
time to go ahead and transfer my image onto my plate. Does anybody else stand up before they transfer their image? I just feel like it gives me a better perspective for some reason. After I scraped my image, I went ahead and pulled off the shelf liner and it worked out perfectly. The image stayed right in place and look how cute they look. I am so, so, so happy with them. This um, image that I got from the Cricut Design Space was absolutely perfect and I just, I love them to death. They look so Pottery Barn-esque and I got them, made them for a fraction of the price. These dollar store plates I got for a buck a piece, I got a set of four, and then it cost me nothing extra because I already had the vinyl and the Cricut machine. So this was literally a four dollar project. And for those of you who are wondering, that shelf liner piece um, lasted me for three plates working great, and then my last one gave me a little bit of trouble. But three plates, not bad. Now this part of the project was a little bit of an uh-oh. I wanted to use the Mod Podge that was dishwasher safe for the plates. Um, just in case we had any guests that put any food on them, I wanted to be able to put them in the dishwasher. However, I sent my sister on a mission to Michael's to get it, and she brought back um, the wrong Mod Podge. Which is fine, I didn't notice until I started to apply it and it looked a little bit funky to me. This is actually the fabric Mod Podge. So, in case you're wondering how fabric Mod Podge does on plates, mmm, not great. So, I was able to wipe off that fabric Mod Podge pretty easy and um, my image was going nowhere. So, maybe it did end up working out pretty okay. I will go ahead and get the other Mod Podge that is dishwasher safe and let you know how that goes. But for right now, I'm just going to keep them with the regular vinyl. I did actually wash them all by hand and the vinyl stayed right in place. So um, I'm going to get the, the other sealer just to be extra sure, but the vinyl sticks really well on its own. And that's it, my Dollar Tree Santa plates. I absolutely love them. Don't forget to check out all the other bloggers' Santa projects. I will link them all below. And have a very Merry Christmas, y'all.